here itself your integration will be stopped the reason it will show you know a dot symbol for us dotted lines okay just we'll test it this is a user defined exception voluntarily we are raising an exception based on certain conditions just activate now it gets activated just submit the instance click on submit now submit now here and navigate to monitoring request id here you can by click on this you can you know monitoring uh, sorry you can navigate a specific this request id in your tracking screen if you want to see all your requests just here navigate to home screen monitoring integrations and the tracking the same request id will travel to here so here also you can just click on the re refresh here the same it will be you know you could see the same request id something 59193 now it's error out just open activity stream here itself here something you know file name validation message received by invoke download file message entered switch it's entered into switch condition and evaluated file name validation okay and error message 101 throw new fault file name exception whatever we are hard coded the message we could see your exception message and open here see the control is up to here and it stop the integration okay this is for exception to raise an a user defined exception based on some conditions now we'll try to implement scope before you know uh, implementing the scope functionality here is an observation when you use throw exception when it raise an exception if integration gets error out here you can observe integration get gets error out now we'll see when we implement scope functionality how it's behave just deactivate here you know, take a scope so before download only will take scope the scope functionality drag and drop scope here in file handle scope just click on the create okay it will create one scope functionality here this is scope scope is nothing but it will you know if any errors are there inside of this if any exceptions are there inside of this you know it won't stop the integration flow it will raise an error whatever we define inside of integration if any errors are there it will perform that activity and it will go for further flow your integration gets never stop okay here this is the fault handler okay when you click on the fault handler you could see default handler if any errors are there inside of this scope you can handle in your default handler okay for example if you use any ftp connections or if you use any web services inside of scopes if you use any web services connections by default here you could see along with the default handler you could see some of the you know web service standard exceptions here something service invocation exception that is you know one of the web service standard exception you could see that sir whatever you are using invokes whatever you are using invokes inside the scope those related standard exceptions you could see here just select that exception and define your own logic over there now we'll say first here so reposition this reposition will not work for you know for the collection items right so if you want to create a new switch case i want to create a new switch case here whatever switch case is there i am trying to move here so it won't move because reposition will not allow for collection items again create a switch case here add the condition this is file name something we need file name right your file name validate and close it now click on the reposition and reposition your throw exception just add to here that's it deactivate reposition and you can delete your switch node here the way you can add for your collection items here inside of collection whatever you know uh, action items are there just you can drag and drop your target area and at last you can delete your collection item nodes just delete and click on the reset now see whatever we are implemented earlier outside the complete functionality in our scope inside inside we are trying to raise an exception if this exception raising then then it will printing one message right something so and so a message the same message whenever you if you raise any exception inside of the scope okay the, if you raise any exception inside of the scope the scope 
error code and error reason it will catch to default handler it will catch to default handler nothing but if any exceptions are there in your scope those will goes to default handler it will handle default handler same as when others then when no data found when too many rows when zero divided by then like that in indirectly this when others then exception if any exception are there then it will goes to default handler just click on the default handler so this is again default handler design area here you can add anything if any exception will be raised then you can add anything here as of now just i am printing one message here default exception just from create and here here you could see scope file handler scope fault object when you take a scope this is file handle file handle scope nothing but we are given we are given the scope name is file handle scope and the fault object it will be create for default handler in the fault you could see error code reason and the details whatever you are used for throw exception error code it will you know uh, mapping to error code and whatever you are hard coded message name in your throw exception then it will map to reason you know run time itself if any ex exception will be raised other than throw exception if any other exceptions are there just it will try to handle error code and error reason here drag error code comma error reason just you can add concat and for our testing purpose just add some iphones here okay just validate in the close is for default handler if you want to see the code in your main scope just click on the symbol here again it will navigate to scope if you want to reset anything here just something like this here if i want to reset here there is an option redraw just click on redraw so that it will reset if you want to enter the res integration reset just click on the reset it will reset entire integration and if you want to collapse this scope just click on collapse it will look and feel like this okay again if you want to open just an expand if you want to delete you can delete from collapse if it is in collapse mode only you can delete your scope when you delete the scope is nothing but whatever inside uh, flow is there it's completely deleted if you want to edit just click on the edit just it will edit your <coughs> name only you can change just you can click on expand it will expand save close and you know activate and submit so vijay uh, in the scope uh, fault handler so how do we do that when uh, if we want to handle the uh, errors uh, error code wise error code wise yeah i mean like when when say when no data found or when uh, when divide by zero such uh, no. we can add conditions right we have to take a switch in that case yes you can take a switch okay. uh, no, okay. switch and then compare the error code and then yes the message correct so instead of switch and all you know when if any errors are there in your scope default handler you can invoke pl sql procedure it's better so inside pl sql procedure you can handle all the errors again that is bit complex for switch cases and all pl sql procedure i mean without database how where do we write that those pl sql procedures that is i will show you further okay okay bye now this is monitoring integrations and the tracking now it's got succeeded see earlier it's no error now it's got succeeded there is no error even though if it if it is raise an exception so it will goes for further flow indirectly here see <coughs> downloading the file and entering into switch operation with condition file name equals so on so dot txt and entering the catch all before that you can see entering into scope file handle scope and the file name entering switch condition it's evaluating switch condition and it entering into catch all okay and the log message is so on so 101 iphone throw new fault now it's trying to display the message from your default handler and exit from scope see exit from catch exit from scope this ex this section for default handler this section for scope okay now again it's goes to you know the next further flow payload sent to read data and then everything is successfully working fine okay this is related to scope if any errors are there integration will be never stop whatever you define inside the scope it will perform that activity and it will goes for the next step some same you can correlate with pragma autonomous transaction okay
this is something related to you know scope and throw new fault which is raise application error which is autonomous transaction still any doubts any clarifications here so as of now we covered how to read the data from xsd and how to read the data from you know file now <coughs> we'll quickly see one more operation here so whatever we are you know read the data right we'll try to write the data into one of the csv file okay for that again take a stage operation here this is write data just click on the next here write file you can hard code any file something test dot csv and write trying to write the data in csv format and file name is like this hard code your file name and specify output directory by output directory instead of writing here we can directly write by using ftp adapter because stage file will output will use in a ics buffer area only take ftp adapter data here write file output directory this is our output directory or you can use the same variable here also and file name pattern something dot csv click on the next and you can provide a schema file how you want to write the data how you want to write the data how you want to read the data for that purpose we use the schema file in the same way for write the file also how you want to write the data in your file contain again use csv the same csv file i am using to write the data whatever i used if you want to change you can change whatever you want as per requirement just here click click on the next and then done here a mark as well op optional i am not change anything because i will try to map everything here so this is our write data now we can open your request mapper this is my source sorry this is my target and this is my source test track you know enable the repeating element node here nothing but it's holding collection of data the same way read data also we have collection of data where is our read data response this is our read data response this is my collection of data so node to node first you can map and expand here before expand just click on accessibility so that you can identify whether for each is enabled or not for each and en enable for this node just expand this and you can map all the values whatever you want to write there we are not you know uh, enabled mark all as optional right so the reason it, here it, here it could see the all are mandatory columns here in the mapping section if you enable the checkbox and if you any if you change the mandatory for any one of the column for that for a specific column you could see as a mandatory address 1 address 2 and this is pin code and this is phone and this is country just validate it close and save it so it will write the data whatever you are provided the format test.csv and it will place the file into server location save it and close if you use stage file write operation use that the stage write file operation and once you write the data by using stage file again take ftp adapter or take ftp connection and in ftp connection you can use an operation like you know uh, move a file or something you know copy the file to server location whatever you are written so instead of that we can directly use you know ftp connection only here you will get a file here hopefully we we'll see something tested csv something a different format now oh, i see something it written the content but file name look and feel like this not sure why it is display it won't display like that but data is writing as expected see test supplier 1 supplier 2 whatever it may be we are given the data it successfully written in this file but it should be display in test.csv only comma separated only that is it's no issues this is our integration just open this this is our integration flow here activity stream this is our iteration and here up to this you know reading the data and display the data and this is request for write data and this is request to mapper write data and the request to mapper and we are mapped from the same data supplier 
test right test whatever we have mapped with the map values we could see here and message sent to the right data and it is successfully completed all the process now it's written the data in test.csv format and the location placed in process is for and the status could be true true is nothing but successfully you know place the file again based on this response if this right data response is true then you can do further whatever you want as per requirement okay this is something related to right data so almost we done with you know basics of our, our integrations okay whatever basics are there scope for loop and this while also same as for loop and this switch and throw new fault stage area variables right this is the basics and we can tomorrow we can go for you know report web service how to call a bip report by using our report web service so that we can cover how to invoke the web services okay and for that report web service again we'll try to read and write operations read the data write the data and we'll use some xsd schema files once we done with your uh, report schema files and all uh, report operation sorry report example then we'll go for you know table operations and pl sql concept once report and pl sql is completed then we'll go for you know one of the 